Chev, just your general assessment of that game first, please. Poor start, um, full of spirit, like they had a go. Um, yeah, just to start really, um, paid lip service to it, like we'd, we'd spoke about starting well. Um, didn't start well last week and kind of just carried the baggage over and it cost us in the end. Um, but Sean shown something there in the in between, well, let's say the second half of that, um, half of the first, the second half, we were in it and then a couple of soft tries again and they just put ourselves back two steps. So um, there's enough in there. Like there is enough in there. There's a team in there. Um, it's just finding that little bit of belief and, and and that little bit of grit just to stay disciplined and and professional about the start of the game. Did you just give yourself too much of a mountain to climb after the, that that first five minutes? Yeah, yeah. It's, when you when you go twelve 0 down and it's it's just um, it just feels different. Even though it's not that far away, it's only two tries and but compounding errors with ill discipline and missed tackles. Um, just zaps you of energy and yeah but then they found energy when they got a sniff and felt like they could do something within it um, so it's, it's there it's just mindset and and finding ways to to, to tune in right from the get-go. So you had Brad with you in the, the first half up alongside you have you had a chance to, to ask him after the game what he, what he made of it overall? Uh, no he'll, he'll assess us tomorrow and it's like he's just come along and, and introduce himself and um, we had a quick chat on the way here um, when we picked him up from Worsley. So he he's he's coming with a clean slate, and that goes for all of us, for our staff and players. So we'll um, uh, I've said last week and in building up into this game is that we'll all support him. Um, we want what's best for the club. So looking forward to to getting stuck into to working with him and and getting ready for the next one. Has he had a chance to, to speak to the players sort of properly yet? I know he's had some of a couple of conversations down the touchline. No, he's, he's just said that it's a, it's a clean slate um, and he wants them to come in with an open mind. So um, that's a positive start as it takes that anxiety away from any of them um, and they're able to, to come in and hopefully kick start the season. Was there a reason he, he changed vantage point in that, that second half? I think we're just trying to get a feel of what goes on, um, seeing how the bench is and seeing how the staff is down there, um, which is, is you'd want to know what goes on both ends. So seeing how it worked out up there and then down and seeing Grixie and, and Rich and the rest of the staff down there. So um, yeah, first impression seems seems real good block. Mikkel Gudemond and Nimba Carmack came off with, with injuries, what are they? Uh, One's a shoulder, one's a hip that's probably just been a bit aggravated, like he'd, he'd picked it up in training, but came through all right. Um, they'll get assessed, they'll get assessed and we'll think of hopefully not long term. Was that how Ash Handley struggling as well towards the end of the time? He's, uh, yeah, I, I think he's, the, the old uh, concussion, he didn't have much tr training that week and then he's gone into the England camp and then he's, he's kind of just stalled like spiralled into, we've tried to look after him and, and make, like manage his load and stuff so um, it's probably just time for a good 48 hours off and, and get ready for Monday. Matt Frawley wasn't involved either, was that an injury or just a, a selection? A uh, selection, um, spoke with Frawls and, and again it's um, more looking after him as in like Kicking game wasn't great last week, and he and he, and he admitted that himself. And um, just thought with with Brad coming in, it was probably a decent opportunity for him to just reset his mind and um, pick up on Monday in a good spot. What was his reaction to, to that news? That's the, obviously the second time that's that's happened this season. That the he's, Jack's been in. he's a team player. Um, he he wants what's best for the team, um, and that's probably why at times he's overtried and. Um, but he's yeah he's he's a, he's a great bloke and, and a real good teammate and um, he got round Jack and Jack got round him like there's there's a togetherness there um, which you can see out on the field at times it's it's the, the togetherness is there um, and, and like I say it's a squad thing so Jack's been working on his game for a few weeks uh, individually and, and collectively so um, yeah it will it will right for both parts I think I feel. Just on yourself, Chev, um, obviously you've stepped into the, the assistant coach role once again now with Brad. 
been back. What, what have you sort of learned and picked up over this last three, four weeks of, of being in, in charge as head coach? Uh, I've got a lot to learn, um, but I'm capable. Like I'm capable of um, fronting up to the players and to yourselves and, and yeah, um, I've not felt overawed by it. Um, and it's just a sticky situation, so it's not like you've come took over in a in a clean, smooth like period for the club. Um, so yeah, great learning curve um, as a as a rookie coach. So um, I've enjoyed the experience, but I'll be ready and willing to support Brad from now till the end of the year and, and see where what happens and what goes from there. All right, thank you. Was the injury aggravated as he scored? Was it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, um, I think at half time he was tightening up a little bit, got loosened off, and felt all right to go back out and return. Um, and then, yeah, I think he's just come off that left foot, and yeah, so it's, I, don't, I don't think it's anything major. It'd be sound. You mentioned the start was poor, but the two tries just before half time were they equally as damaging? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, um, but the start more so. Um, I think the last two probably stem from the the first two. It's like you, they just couldn't get into a flow from it because they're distracted by what had happened, and then they view so much energy. Um, so half time probably came at the right time, um, and then after the after the break, they, they came out and strung a few sets together and, and made some inroads. So. Um, yeah, the lessons there is that if you just stay calm in the moments and, and just get to your kicks and just get a feel of it rather than trying to force it or putting yourself on the back foot.